What up, this is Jacob here from Global Gaming 101. Uh, this channel right here is not really designed for videos like this, but uh, I just felt really, uh, just had the urge to do this. And this video is on how to recover data from a hard drive that, uh, a hard, from a hard drive that like has been formatted, and it could have been formatted several times too. Uh, the chances though of recovering that data is going to be slimmer and slimmer then, but it's still probable that you can get the data. Well, not even probable. No, it's not probable, but <laughs> there's a chance you can get it. So here it is, a, f a quick formatted NTFS volume. Uh, so it's just sitting right here uh, from using a USB SATA adapter. And uh, what you want to do in order to download the software to do this, you want to type in R-E-C-U-V-A. I'm not going to even try to pronounce it. I don't want to spend time trying to. Just, I'm pretty sure it's like Recuva, whatever. I tempted to say it anyways. So it's the first one. Go to download. And uh, there's three options. The first one, of course, is just free. Second one is if you want the, you know, the bigger bundle and the third one is if it's going to be like commercial so you can just download it here I'm not going to go through the installation with you but just keep in mind it's going to want to install ad bars so go through the uh, installation carefully and make sure you do not install the ad, uh, toolbar unless you want it so once you launch the application uh, this window will pop in pop up and you can disable this but so you can choose the files you want to recover in this case I'm just going to put other so it shows all of them you go to next uh, you can a specific location and in this case it's letter G so you just go down here and go to G and press next and if you enable deep scan you'll that's what you want to do it'll take hours but that's that you're most likely to find your data using deep scan. In fact, I don't even think it scans without it. So, just right here, I'm gonna pause it till it goes to like one percent or something, and then I'll show you from there. So let me pause it real quick. All right, so right here it hit two percent, and just cancel it. And here's some data it found. Um. Just you know, bunch of random stuff here, right here. Uh, you know, just recover these two right here. Place it on the desktop. Two files recovered, so it recovered whatever this is. <laughs> so I'm just gonna delete that, and it recovered this, but it looks like it had a little glitch, so it couldn't pick it up. That's a shame, because if that was a picture that had many sentimental values that you couldn't get rid of, you would have been screwed. But uh, there's a lot of stuff on here. Um, just nothing really good. Did it find uh, the exe file? Let's see. So. Looks like it made a bit in Windows uh, file and picture finally. So it recovered this picture right here and the key for some reason. Covered that again. And this picture seems to be maybe a picture of a YouTube video or something. Maybe. Uh, maybe it found it in the uh, temporary I don't know why I would have a picture of that <laughs> yeah <laughs> no I'm not weird leave me alone no I'm just kidding but uh yeah so that's about it and I actually used it to recover uh, some data on because I accidentally deleted some stuff on my uh, uh, secondary terabyte hard drive and uh, I deleted about a hundred gigs worth of data 
but uh, the only the only data I actually found you great good enough to recover was about uh, let's it was, it was about 16 gigs worth of data, and I accidentally deleted about a hundred. But uh, that's probably because I didn't select all of them. Uh, I feel like Mass Effect right now, but I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, that's about it. Uh, and uh, peace out. I'm going to do it the old-fashioned way. Peace.